everyone and welcome back for another episode of Haywood Gardens. Haywood Gardens. I thought about making a theme song, but then that would probably be terrible and scare all of you away. So I'm not going to do that. But anyways, we are going to pick up right where we left off where our dear Layla was about to, she got gotten herself a lovely juice to drink and was left in the house alone with Brand Hecking. And so she is going to spend some time with him. He asked to come over to hang out, but Caleb Vator was over here hanging out. And they literally were like having a man heart to heart. Like, like literally, Brandt does not like Caleb. And they did not seem to get along. And he seemed so upset that he was over there. So we are going to see, I guess, what is going to happen now. She's got dishes all over the floor. Girl, where are you going? She apparently needed separate, se se the, 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 she needed separated, separate individual time away from him. I don't know what I'm saying. Are they talking from the bedroom? Like, is her door open? No, it's shut. <laughs> her door is definitely shut. All right, she is done drinking, and oh, he is going to be sweet to Marley. Let's see, she wants to buy a hot tub. Girl, you be living large. That's expensive. Oh, okay, you're just gonna be angry and come into the bathroom with her? Frobby Seabrook. Fenoy? Like, why is he angry again? Like, why is he keeping so upset? Gorsha Tabar! Um, let's ask him about his date. Is everything okay? Like, you're just walking in my bathroom. Funiata. Adunda. Like, I don't know what else he wants. Um. You can. Maybe just. Sibo, Roshi Thama. Um, maybe let's brighten his day. Maybe that'll help him and discuss some fitness techniques. And, okay, let's find out. Is he interested in her? Let's find out if he's single. Froom. Ah, Vula Shaka Teeb. Simbab Krako. Siglona. Ah. Yeah. Oh. Alright guys, here's the moment of truth. What are we going to find Merkid out? Oh, she reached level fitness 3. Let's see, okay, okay, like, can we get on with it? Is he single? <gasps> oh, girl, he is married. Brant is married to Brent? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, hold up. Hold up, hold your horses, Brant. Oh, he, Brant, Brant hacking. Oh my gosh, so he's married? I thought I knew Brant. I swear I knew him. I don't know why he's not on here. Oh my gosh, he's married. So why is he over here all upset then? Like, is everything okay in his marriage? Like, um, they are like really similar. Her and him, like they have a lot in common, but he was so mad that Caleb was over there. Like, does he just not like vampires or does he, was he jealous? Guys, I don't know. What do you guys think? You guys should totally comment and let me know. Like, do you guys think that something's going on in his marriage and he's interested in Layla because she's a great outlet for him and they've got so much in common? I don't even know. Look, she's leaving him again to go talk to her plants. She's like, I am over this conversation. Alright, well, I guess that they're just going to kind of go their own separate ways and then we'll just kind of see what happens. And, I mean, at least she's out here getting her gardening skills, so we'll just kind of, like, speed through this to see how are our bees. They are, uh oh irritated. Um, girl, let's go, you need to go bond with your bees. We need to get a friendship with our bees so they, like, don't attack you as much. And let's sell some honey. Okay, Brent is leaving. And let's see, what does she want to do? She wants to make a friend. Um, let's... Definitely. Can we not pin that? Oh. Okay. Um. Watch World Culture Network. We can definitely do that. Oh my gosh. Caleb is here again. So like he's literally just waited 
Guys, guys, wait, let's, let's, let's talk about this for a second. So he like waited for Brant to leave and then he came back because he was already here and then he left and gave them like alone time and now he's back. Guys, I think he totally likes her. <laughs> what do you think? I don't know, like, I'm excited. I don't know what to think. I, I, I don't know what Layla thinks. We have to find out. I mean, I think she's curious and she wants to make friends regardless. So, I mean, she's excited that somebody wants to spend time with her. So, let's, um, I guess invite him in. And we need to feed Marley. And girl, like, look at these dishes. Like, we gotta clean up. She's like, hey, you wanna come in? You're back over here. Look at them. They just, like, walked in together. Like, they literally walked through each other. Okay, Marley, we are gonna feed you. Don't you worry about that. Um, I'm just gonna throw these over here because this girl ain't got time to worry about this stuff. Okay. Um, let's tell him a knock knock joke. She needs has, needs to practice her Oops. Um, Zombo Skiba. Oh my Zuba gosh, her, Love her comedy Zubi. skills. That's what it's called. <laughs> he didn't even laugh. Like I don't even think he thought that was funny. Oh, they're oh, sitting together. Oh, I think he's like really cute, guys. It might just be me, but I don't know. Okay, they're talking about trash. He's like, man, like you, you've had a lot of stuff going on in your house. Like, was everything okay after I left? Uh, he seemed pretty upset. I, I thought I should give you your space so that you could, you know, talk to him. He seemed really upset about something, and she's like, oh, yeah, I think everything is fine. He just, he was just having a rough day, and he just needed to vent to somebody, and he, it was nothing. Don't worry about it. And so now, I don't know what he's doing. Okay, let's, she wants to watch the world culture, now, Oh, oh, this is cute. Oh, we've got to take a picture of this, guys. Look at this. Oh, they are adorable. Marley, he must really like him. Guys, is this a sign? Is this what I think it is? Hmm. I might have to check this out as a possible option, um, but anyways, let's go back to what we were doing, which was we were going to watch the world, where's the World Culture Network, there it is. Okay girl, get in here and watch your World Culture Network, we gotta get you some points, so that that way you can, um, you know, actually like get more sleep replacements if need be. She wants to dance to stereo music. We don't own a stereo, so I just don't think that's going to happen. Uh, does she have work in the morning? No, she's working two days. Let's go out on the town, guys. Let's do it. Let's change her outfit. Mm, let's see. Let's put her in some, some cute little clothes here, and we will turn the TV off, and maybe we will invite him to go with us and we'll go meet some people let's see let's see um, let's ask to see his party wear Kayla just became good friends with Layla they're good friends guys like wow oh oh he be looking sharp do you see this outfit mm. I have to say I'm not too upset by this. <laughs> Is that wrong of me to say? And look at her, guys. Look at her. She looks so cute. Look at that little booty on her. She got a booty. Oh, she is so cute. Let's take a picture. Like, I'm not going to say that this is a date because they are just, they literally just became good friends. Um, and maybe he'll help her meet some other people. So we are going to go out on the town with him so let's see let's um uh, not join household that would have been awkward if i'd clicked that uh can we not ask him to like okay i guess we'll just have to do it through this um let's go travel and we will man she's making some enemies <laughs> we will invite him 
And let's see what happens oh, here. Or. Caleb will see you there. All right, so. <gasps> Guys, we are hanging out with a friend, and it's a boy nonetheless. Look at her, Layla. Ooh. Okay, so where should we go? I think we should, of course, hit up San Myshuno because we are going to the city and the nightlife. Where should we go? Should we go to Planet Honey Pop, the karaoke bar? Or we could go to this karaoke bar, Waterside Warble. Um, and we could also go to... My Shuno Meadows, the park is really beautiful. I don't want to go to the art center. I could go to the gym. Mm. And then there's the Stargazer Lounge, Romantic Aura. I don't think we want to do that. Uh, let's go to water Waterside Warble. It's a party place. So let's check this out and let's see what's going to happen between them. <gasps> Guys, <gasps> our little Layla is just already growing up and we're only like, what? Is this the third or fourth episode? Fourth episode? Like, guys, my heart. My heart. Okay, yeah, I've been here for a while. Oh, check this guy you? out. Uh. Um, let's introduce ourselves. He looks really bored. My oak. Mekoa oh, Keloa. Dag. Dag. Oh, he sounds so Ooh, sad. Um, oh. Girl, let's, uh, oh, let's try to tell him something Shuna. funny because this guy seems like he is so oh. bored oh. and oh. he seems like he needs Darcy. a good laugh. Gosh, so, can you tell him borb. a knock knock joke? <gasps> Hug it's someone. Who said Borb? Tip tip. Bazik Bazoor. Bricks. Delso. Tribs, Eba. This guy like Call literally has no interest. Nice. Like she's trying, she's trying. We? She's like, come on <laughs> now. Look at his face. He's like, mm. oh, we got a smile for a brief second. We got a smile. Look at that. He's like, mm, no, couldn't give in. Couldn't give in. Oh, who's singing? Who is this? Is he fabulous? Oh, notable newcomer. She's actually got not too bad of a voice. Oh, Kara, why did you change? I liked your other outfit. Uh, we should uh, talk to him again to see if we can switch him back to his party outfit. Because, boy, we are out on the town. Switch into that party outfit. There we go. That's much better. Look at him, he's like nice and tall too, compared to this girl. I love this. Okay, so Layla, let's, um, girl, what did you get? What did you get? She already ordered a drink without me knowing. Oh my gosh, I need to stop clicking on everything. What did she get, guys? Sweet and spicy, that must be her favorite drink. I love this. Look at all these people karaoke -ing. <laughs> this is awesome. I love this so much. Akira Kibo. And this guy is like going to town with his little sweater vest. You see this? Like he is jamming. And are these girls like sisters? Because they both have pink hair. I don't think so. But look at her. She's having so much fun. Oh, is he going to karaoke? <gasps> let's, let's sing a duet. Let's see if he'll do it. Will he do it? Oh my gosh. Did you see that? Do you see? Oh, he's like glaring at her now, but like... He's like, he looks so uncertain. He's like, uh... Are we really about to do this? Uh, I'm not a great singer. Let's see, guys. <laughs> not want to sing a duet okay girl maybe you should just sing a um, a song by yourself she's oh my gosh look at him oh my gosh <laughs> this is like the best like do you see this like these two dudes just like sitting in here oh, oh he does not like it she is pretty off key Oh, honey, no. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Look at her. 
she's like reaching for the crap. He's like, someone please help me. Please help me. He's like, are you a kind sir? Please, would you like to sit here and suffer with me while my eardrums are bleeding? Please, thank you. She's like creating a, a ruckus in here. Like, He's like, thank goodness all these people have come to help me make it through this, this night. This is hilarious. Like, look at her. She is so excited. We gotta take a picture of her. <laughs> Do you see her face? Like, she is living this up. She loves this so much, and it's it is so boy. great. Woo! <laughs> that was awesome. All right, so she wants to do some sit-ups. So let's do it, girl. Let's do it. Let's get them sit-ups in. Okay, girl, come out here. Just come out here to do your sit-ups. Let's get you some points. All right, so she is feeling really energized. So maybe we will. Um, oh, he's just going around and watching everybody, isn't he? All right, that's cool. Whoa, look at this guy. Look at this. He has the same big bun as that one girl she that Layla saw at the gym that day. Okay, let's travel. Let's see. Oh, there's there's some food over here. Let's see what some what food do we have here? Um, samosa. Yeah, let's get a snack. Let's get a snack. Come on, girl. Oh, these look so good. I love San Myshuno for the fact of that they have all of these like other like little food are they food carts I don't know if I'd call them a food booth more because it's not really a cart but I love the fact that they have these because it just adds so much to this game and also the fact that they can unlock all these cool recipes like for all these foreign foods I think is like fantastic and oh this is that one girl we met before right I met her yeah she's a girl where are you going like, did you literally walk all the way over here? Oh, dag, dag. Like, just to talk with her? <laughs> Look at this guy. Oh, oh she is. Oh, girl. She is enjoying her conversation with this girl. Girl, why did you stop eating your samosas? Pick those back up. And like, how dare you waste perfectly good food and put it on the floor like that? Like, what's wrong with you? Is it too hot for her? I wonder if that's what a raccoon just walked by. All right. There's a lot of... Oh. Oh. Did Caleb just leave? And he also was, like, wearing a black shirt and red pants. Did you see that? I swear he was wearing something different. Okay, so she has learned how to make samosas. Very cool. Alright, so we need to, let's text Supriya because we need to chat with her more. Like, she needs a girlfriend. So let's see what we can find out here. Where She's like, oh my gosh, Supriya, I think I'm going to go hit up the gym. Would you want to come with me? Like, we need to work out some steam together. And she's like, uh, yeah, girl, absolutely. I will meet you there. So let's travel. And let's bring our dear Supriya with us. Oh, Supriya's still sleeping? Ugh, lame. Alright, girl, let's go to Sky Fitness here. And let's get our workout on. Guys, I think that was a pretty successful night. She, Layla seemed to really have a great time doing the karaoke, even though she's definitely a little tone deaf. Tone, tone deaf, tone deaf. <laughs> All right, man, all the, there's a lot of these guys walking around with these big old buns. All right, so let's, girl, you need to switch yourself up. Like, we need to change your outfit. Let's change outfit. You got to work out your sweat. She loves this punching bag. Like, let's practice punching because, like, this is her jam. Oh, that one girl's here. Maybe we should become friends with her because she is, like, always here at this gym. Oh, hey, is that that one guy we met? It is. Let's uh let's introduce ourselves to this girl. Because she seems to be here a lot. 
let's uh let's run with her. All right, look at her run, 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 run. You get it, girl. Get it, girl. All right. So she has been getting her workout on. This guy has been punching this punching bag like mad. The, the guys have all taken all these punching bags. Poor girl. Look at this guy. He got like right on the treadmill next to her, and he is like dying. Look at him. Oh. <laughs> like. Well, son, you know, you, you can't you can't run on a treadmill with your eyeballs almost closed. This is not how this works. Am I right? I mean, because look at my girl. She's like smiling, energetic, looking happy. And this guy, he is very sad. Why is he very sad? Yes, he must have just been told he can't eat pizza anymore because, boy, I feel this pain. I feel it so much. And look at her. She's just like, oh, this isn't hard at all. I'm going to have a full-on conversation while I'm just running around on this treadmill. No biggie. Okay. Let's keep going. Okay, so she finished her workout. And I think she wants to... Oh, she's going to stretch. Let's go downstairs. Um, Let's go to take a shower. Yes, girl, let's take a shower. Oh, is that a boy's home? Oh, <laughs> I should have paid attention to the colored sinks. I obviously wasn't, though. Okay, she's going to take a shower so she's not stinky. And she has had a pretty good day. Like, she is doing awesome. And she probably needs to use the restroom. Um... Oh, look at her and her little towel. She's so cute. Oh, I love this so much. So let's have her come over here and we will change outfits. Let's see, let's change into her everyday outfit. All right, she's super cute. So let's see, she wants to call someone on the phone. Let's call Supriya. We need to talk with her. We haven't like gotten to um, really do a whole lot with her lately. All right, so that is done. Cook pet food, and she wants to hug someone from being happy. Um, is there anyone we know? Oh, hello! Look at this. Look at this mane. Wow. You're not too bad looking though. All right, let's move on. Let's go up here. Anyone new in the gym that we haven't met yet? Let's see, we've got Kayla Fleming. I'm not going to probably pronounce that name. Um, this guy. Anything else that I should be... Oh my gosh, she's going to go punch on the punching bag again. This girl is addicted, I tell you. Like, not that that's a bad thing. Like, she just loves this. I love her for this reason. Like, <laughs> like, look at her. Like, she is so... She's getting really good at this. Like, she is just, like, taking it out on this bag. Like, this is all the anger and stress she feels about freaking Vladius. And I totally get that pain. Like, I get that so much. I love watching this like serious face. She's so cute. She works so hard. She's doing such a great job. I'm so proud of her. Girl, you got this. Don't you be losing your balance now. You got this. She's getting an awesome workout in. Like she's seriously working so hard right now. Okay. She wants to send an energized text. Look at this girl. She's like motivating her and pushing her. She's like, yeah, girl, push the limits. You've got this. All right, let's just let's just push her a little bit more until she's about done. And we'll kind of fast forward through this. All right, guys, and we got her level four fitness skill, and she can box on the punching bag and do heavy lifting. So let's be done with that. Like she's addicted. Like I'm surprised she's not stopping yet. Like I'm actually really surprised by that. Okay, so now that we have done that, Supriya Del Goddess wondering if I would want to go over to her house and hang out. Yeah, let's go see her. We haven't gotten to go see her, like, at all. Um, are we not, like, going over to Supriya's house? You're playing basketball instead? Um, 
Um, I'm not like super happy about that. Let's do a sleeper placement. And we will just travel over to her house. Because regardless, we need to go visit her. Okay, like why are you not drinking what I'm telling you to drink, girl? What happened to my sleep replacement? Like you guys saw that, right? Like it was straight up in my inventory. And now it's not there. Oh my gosh, like she is just seriously, like she is not stopping. I don't know why she just keeps going back to this. She must be like really confused. Or just really stressed out. Okay, let's send her home. And I don't really know why every time Supriya tries to invite her to do anything, and like when we accept it, like it just doesn't go anywhere. Like she just stays there. So maybe if we go back here to the house, um, let's have her sleep for a bit. Um, cause she does need to get some energy up cause she is literally like Loki dying and poor Marley has been at the house like by himself all day. And so we just need to kind of nap just a little bit. He would like to come over to hang out. Is that okay? He is always wanting to hang out. Let's, let's say no this time because we are going to go over to Supriya's. So, um, let me feed Marley and call him to eat and let's uh, let's go to Supriya's so that's me travel we're gonna bring Marley all right let's go to over to Supriya's house um, I know she lives somewhere um, hecking oh that's that's Brant's house okay hounds head uh, oh, that's me. Uh, uh, oh. Oh, I think that's her. Del yeah, Supriya Delgado. Um, it doesn't look like she's home, but we will see. We can at least, I guess, socialize with her husband, Justin. I think that was his name. Justin Dustin. <laughs> I don't remember. So let's at least kind of get over there just so we can have been to oh my gosh guys do you see this house this house is huge this is ridiculous wow dang Supriya like she she must be doing pretty well for herself just saying okay let's uh let's come knock on the door is that like a dog door who is that that must be like come on in Oh, they have kids. So let's see. Um, oh, there's. Yeah, Justin, that was his name. Um, let me say hello. Brighten his day. Let me introduce myself. Is her name Evil? Oh, Evie. <laughs> Evie, not Evil. I was gonna say. I'm like, okay. And let's be friendly. Hello. Um. Girl, I thought you already introduced. Let's do maybe a funny introduction. Um, let's brighten her day. Let's get to know him while we wait for Supriya. Let's look at this house real quick. Okay, it's it's very white <laughs> on the inside. I would not want my house to be this white. Oh, she has a cat. Look at this. You guys hear that? Is being is being Bartholomew A. Biddlebun Senior. I love this cat. Oh my gosh! Yes, guys, I am obsessed with cats. I love them so much. Okay. Um, my notification wall is. Oh, he's a cat lover. So Supriya is a dog lover, and he's a cat lover. So they have a cat and a dog. That makes sense. All right. Very cool. Um. Well, do you like have any uh, snacks or anything that she can like have while she's over here? Because she is like really starving. 
Let's see, is Supri upstairs? Oh my gosh, look at this room. Oh, I love this room. Look at this big cat stuffed animal. Oh my gosh, I love it. Pet obsessions. Marley can get inexplicably obsessed about things around the house. Keep on your to discover their unique interests. Marley, what are you getting interested in? Is there something you're interested in? I don't know. Um, anyways, let's... Dang, these kids have huge bedrooms. Like, look at that size. And these bathrooms are, like, all kind of the same, but they are huge. Like, look at all the space. Who needs so much? Oh, and this cat post. And they got a fireplace in their bedroom and a treadmill and just a piano and nothing on a balcony. Um... All right, well, she is definitely not hurting for space. That is true. Well, I'm disappointed Ooh, that, that we beautiful. are not getting to see Supriya. Um, I'm gonna go for a jog. Let's go for a jog, Marley. Like, we need to get you outside because I can tell that you're really sad. Like, he is excited for this. Like, girl, why aren't you going anywhere? Like, we need to start running. Girl, there we go. There we go. So let's see. She wants to do push-ups. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. She just ran right through the bush. Was that all? Oh, <laughs> I was like, that was it. That was like literally the shortest jog I've ever seen. Okay, let's just back up here so we can just see where we're at. This is really so beautiful. I love all the scenery here in Brindleton Bay. Oh my gosh, where did Marley go? Like, what? <laughs> he just like took off into a bush. Into the unknown. Like, is she still holding her leash? Um, girl. Oh, there he is. What? What? Where does he keep going? Where's. Where's my dog? Is he disappearing into the... Whoa, oh. <laughs> okay. Definite glitch. Oh, yeah. Let's let's go to this pier. <gasps> oh, I love this so much. So, so much. We can travel to the lighthouse. I don't even know what that means. Where is the lighthouse? I want to go to a lighthouse. That sounds so cool. But I guess let's do that another day because she's literally like starving so much. A stray named Yogi wearing a sweater. Is there anything for us to discover? Um. Oh, look at all the lightning bugs. Okay, fireflies for the rest of you in the south. I grew up in the south and we call them lightning bugs. And oh my gosh, that's so cute. That's just an extra little touch of something. Oh, why did we stop? We're back at Supriya's house. Okay, we need to we need to go home. So let's go home. Can we do that? Can we go home? Can we make it? Yeah, girl, there we go. That's what I thought. That is what I thought. Ooh, we got something that's ready to be evolved. Mm, can she harvest it? Oh, it's a cherry tree. <gasps> that is awesome. I didn't know that there were cherry trees in this game. I'm learning so much. Okay, like, we need to, like, go faster. All right, so, guys, we kind of sped forward. She was at Supriya's and then went for a jog with Marley, and then I decided to keep moving forward, and so she basically we just went home, and we took care of a few things like cleaning up and then hygiene and food and sleeping but she didn't get much sleep obviously because she's like dead now but she just got back from work and she has been promoted it looks like so we are going to select a branch for Layla so we could be a botanist Do you have an interest in the science side of plants then use your knowledge to improve on nature botanists will analyze plants write papers and can eventually earn grants you'll also be eaten by or work with a lot of cow plants Hmm, I don't know if I want the cow plants. Let's see, $40 an hour, 9 to 5. And then we have 8 to 3, $35 an hour. Floral designer. Floral designers will grow and use plants as their artistic medium. The main creative outlet will be using the flower arranging table to create masterpieces, but you'll start by trimming stems and leaves. I picture her as being more of a floral designer than a botanist. 
So let's go with the floral designer. So ped promoted to pedal placer, she will now make an additional $10 per hour for a grand total of $35 per hour. She has also received the following bonus, $550 on a bonsai tree. Her next shift is Sunday at 8 a.m. All right, so awesome, guys. Uh, so we are doing great here. Um, let's get her to sleep because she is literally about to pass out on the ground. And then I know she got a bonsai tree, correct? Um, oh, no, 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 no. There she goes. <laughs> Um, let me open up the inventory here because we should, yeah, there we go. We have the bonsai tree. Let's just move it out here. And then we also have a sprinkler. Let's just put that out here in the middle of the yard. All right, cute, cute. I don't know why I just did that because I still need to move this bonsai tree. So it's not just like hanging out there in the middle. Should we put it here, here? Wait. Is it going to be right in front of the window if I do it there? Yeah, let's not put it right in front of the window. So we'll do it right there. All right, guys. So Layla has finally woken back up and we will get her put to sleep. So I think we will end this episode here. And I hope you guys enjoyed Haywood Gardens. And we will see you again soon. Stand and